And now we go into metaf in, into meiosis 2. We don't have another DNA replication and we don't have much of a prophase. The only part of the prophase that we really have is the forming of yet another spindle. Yes, and there is a question, yeah. what phase do the centrioles move mm. to the poles? That's why I said earlier, it's in the prophase already. There That's you right. can see it. Well then, Metaphase 2. Remember during metaphase you have an arrangement on the equator. And now, not chromosome pairs, but chromosomes. Karin, kijk daar wat gebeur nou by die anafase. Wat sal jylle sê, wat gebeur daar? There you will see, they, they, they name it there, they call it sister chromatids. They also talk about daughter chromosomes instead of the sister chromatids. It is slightly confusing, I know. It is, yeah, because one book will differ from another. But whatever you have, just ask your teacher that's there and they will just straighten that out for you. And then it's the telophase, and then you see where the four cells come from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is belangrijk dat jullie zien dat elke cel wat na mij was in gevorm was. Elk in verdeel nou in in ondergaan mij was het twee. Onthoud dat. That is why you will find there are two cells in that one slide on the left hand side with anaphase two, and with each one, when the cleavage takes place there, you will find and this uh, the the cytoplasm divides. You will find at the end of meiosis two, you will have four haploid daughter cells. Mm. Right. Um, and then if, if it's a problem and, and you want to know about mitosis and what the cell is, Brandon, maybe you sh should go back to your grade 10 book and have a look at mitosis if you're confused now. But remember in matric you only have to answer questions on meiosis.